I'm John McCarthy, supervising producer for the Lawyers.com channel. We've caught up with Cal Warner, the co-chair of the Stryker Rejuvenate Litigation Group at the American Association for Justice Convention here in Chicago. Cal, what is the Stryker Rejuvenate HIP? Stryker Rejuvenate is a modular HIP device. It's used for hip implants, um, hip replacement surgery. Uh, and Stryker has been making that particular device for about two and a half years, but it's now been recalled. What conditions are linked to the use of this artificial hip? When excess heavy metals are cast off because of the motion in this hip into the area around the hip, you get a terrible soft tissue reaction. That's the way it starts. Then you get a fluid buildup. Then the hip starts hurting. You get pain. And if it's allowed to stay in the hip long enough before being removed, the device that is, uh, then you can get pseudotumor formation. You can get death of bone. You can get death of muscle. And actually, if it stays in long enough, the heavy metal ions can start circulating in your bloodstream. Unfortunately, with the rejuvenate hip, the part that's failing is the stem. The stem is the part of the device that's driven down into the femur, and that's supposed to be permanent. It's put in to stay forever. One doctor told me that the surgery to get the stem out of the femur is like trying to get a piece of rebar out of concrete. Well, when should a potential plaintiff uh, call a lawyer? It's very important in failed device cases where a revision surgery is in order for the patients to get to a lawyer as soon as possible because when they have that revision surgery, the device comes out. And if you don't take proper precautions to obtain the device and store it properly so that it can be tested at a later date, then you could basically give up your entire potential cause of action. Everyone knows that individuals get compensation um, if uh, they're awarded in these cases, but what kind of systemic changes do you think will, uh, will occur if you prevail in this case? I think what you're going to see from this is a very close look by the scientific community, the medical community, and possibly the FDA at modular hip devices and whether or not the whole class of those devices is good or bad. Thank you. This is John McCarthy in Chicago for the Lawyers.com channel.